What are you guys doing? You didn't meet your quota this month either. The woman who is angry is our CEO, Shuha Kujoin. She's the only daughter of a very large financial group in Japan, but she must have been spoiled. She's always asking for things that can't be completed. This company is one of the many companies in the Kujoin group, but I thought it was too early to let her be a CEO. She would just decide the quotas based on profit instead of actually looking at the state of the economy and adjusting accordingly. No one is able to meet her standards. M Mom, if, if I may, uh, the economy is in shambles. I don't think these numbers are realistic. Uh, the company is still making profit. Can you lower the quota? What, are you trying to go against the CEO? No, Mom, that's not what I meant. Our company does have good profits. But if we settle here, then we won't grow as a company. That's why we have to keep our standards high and keep trying hard. The results will follow and speak for themselves. That was the first time that I'd heard of why she had such high standards. However, if that's why she's setting the standards so high, she shouldn't be so angry when you don't reach the standards or no one is going to follow you. There was a reason that I quit my old job and joined this company. I just recently joined. I just turned 27, so I'm the same age as the CEO, but I don't think I can get along with her. She looks so good. <laughs> what a waste. After this kind of thing continued. Why are you all quitting? The skillful employees all turned in their resignation letters. It made sense. The people who were skilled didn't have to stay here to start over. The ones that remained were the younger generation that weren't confident in going to another company. It makes sense. It's your fault. What the hell are you talking about? You're that newbie from last year. Why are you talking so much smack to a CEO like me? How about you throw away that kind of pride, huh? What? What do you mean? I know that your method... I know that your method made this company grow rapidly. I think it's because the employees wanted to work hard to keep up with your dreams. But you didn't even thank them for working that hard. You kept setting the bar higher and getting more angry. It makes complete sense for them to get tired of you and run away. You don't know anything! You haven't done anything these six months either! I don't need employees who are all talk. <sighs> okay, well, do you want to just wait till the company goes under? Huh? The great employees with experience have left, and you only have the young newbies. It won't run smoothly. If you don't do something right away, the company will go under. But I can't stop all the employees now. Then we need to increase the amount of people right away, don't we? We need to put out the word while also talking to your father and grandfather to ask for support from other related companies. I, I can't do that. I don't know what they'll say about this. I think the company losing profit is much bigger of a problem. If you do nothing, you will keep failing them. I think that's a much worse look for your family. Fine. I'll tell them the truth and ask for help. Okay, let's get ready. Huh? What are you going to get ready for? I'm going to make documents to explain everything. Even if there are no new people coming in, they need to know what to do. I mean, I've already started making things when I heard they were quitting, but... I, I see. You got ready fast. This is normal. Also, if you don't mind, bring in a few system engineers. We don't have that kind of department, though. We will need them. I'm going to make some of our work automated. That way, we need fewer people, and it'll increase efficiency and cost. But who would make a system for that? I will. Don't worry. I'm a systems engineer. I started making documents and designing the system at the same time. I had people help me out with some onboarding documents, and I was able to make sure it would be completed within the month. It's been so long since I've had a job this tough. And as I was working... It's 10 p.m. How long are you going to be working? Hey, boss. Rare of you to stay this late. I'm pretty sure I asked you about the time first. I was listening to my dad and his goons chew me out. So she told them the truth. Well, good job. What about getting more people to help? They said they would get some people immediately, and they were upset, but... They also praised me. They said good job for bringing it to their attention immediately. That the damage will be kept to a minimum because of it. Well, that's great, isn't it? It's thanks to you. So, thank you. I was actually surprised. The prideful CEO was saying thank you to me? It's not something worth thanking me for. I will be in trouble if this company went under as well. Either way, it doesn't change the fact that you helped us. You're making a system right now for us too, right? 
That's all coding. You know how to code? A little bit. My father's company has a large systems department. Yeah, they don't only make systems for other companies, but their own Kujo and proprietary systems. Yeah, I'm surprised you know that. But man, you program fast. Why did you quit working as a systems engineer and start working here? I'm not sure. I think I just let things flow and this is where I ended up. What do you mean? I think you'll figure it out soon enough. Anyway, you're free to go home first. You don't have to wait up. I'll go ahead and lock up. That's fine, I'll wait till you're done. Quite a sudden kindness. This all happened because of me. It would be wrong for me to just leave you here. Huh, she must have really been chewed out good. Alright, I'll work fast to finish it ASAP. I didn't want to make her wait, so I worked even faster than before. I finished coding about 30 minutes after that. You were coding without looking anything up. It's all memorized? Yeah. If it's any of the primary languages, I know it. That's incredible. Seriously, why are you at our company? Like I said before, you'll figure it out eventually. Ugh, so you're just gonna keep it a secret, huh? Maybe looking at your resume will help me figure it out. You don't have time to do that. You realize that them sending people to our company is a temporary solution, right? We need to put out immediate job openings. But we can't just hire anyone willy-nilly, so we need to be sure to interview strictly. You say that as if it's an easy thing. If I could find good people that easily, I wouldn't be struggling, would I? Yes, that's why I'm doing my best to get the system up and running ASAP. Same thing with the people. Even if we have more people come to help us, if they aren't skilled, then there's no point in them coming. That's why I figured we needed to get people that we know are skilled from the other companies. How far ahead are you thinking? It doesn't matter. I think you have another important subject to tackle. Huh? What are you talking about? Did you already forget? The quota? Oh. Having high quotas is good, but too high of a quota is not good. It makes people unmotivated. They're discouraged to try, even before they even work, because they know they can't reach it. It's pretty difficult to maintain workforce motivation in a condition like that. Then, what do you think I should do? <laughs> That's your job to figure it out, isn't it? If I tried to come up with something on my own, I might screw it up again. You spoke up that much before. You can give me a little advice, right? Fine, I'll help you out just this once. Uh, okay. First, you need to lower the quota back to an achievable number. It needs to be just out of reach to where it seems possible, but tough to reach. Okay. Huh, she's receptive. Also, take better care of your employees. Your employees are the MVP of your company. The MVP? The company is only as good as its employees. The skills that the employees have are the only reason the business works. If you don't take care of them, they're gonna run away to other companies, and what good is a company that has no employees? So you need to make sure to comp them well and give them a lot of benefits. Okay. I guess that's enough of the lecturing. Yeah, thank you. I'll think about... I did not expect that selfish CEO to be so open to suggestions. I went home completely surprised. After that, she started talking to everyone very kindly and treating them with respect. At first, they were all confused because of how different she was acting. But they eventually warmed up to the pretty CEO saying nice things to them. I explained all of the duties and onboarded all of the help that came. There wasn't much left until the employees quit, so I needed to work hard to bring them on board. Yo, Sakurai, how have you been? Mr. Kaido, I didn't expect you to come. This person is Kaito, and he was my boss at my old workplace. He's really chill and works efficiently, so a lot of his employees respect and trust him. It really helps us out with his arrival. Our CEO said that you were here. I said I had to go see for myself. Anyway, enough about that. You vanished from our company and moved to this one, huh? What, did the pretty CEO get you or something? <laughs> That's not it. They just asked for help, so I came. Huh? Who asked? Of course. Sakurai, do you have a second? Yeah, sure. Sorry, Kaito, I gotta go. I was in the middle of a... I was in the middle of the conversation, but Kujoin asked for me, so I left. What's wrong? Well, you said that you wanted to have a systems engineer, right? That person that you were talking to, Kito? He seems kind of shady. According to my father, he's one of the top engineers at his company. Shady, huh? So can you have him teach the newbies how to code and design a system? 
Maybe we can raise a systems engineer from the ground up. Hmm, I think that's pretty tough. You need a lot of expert knowledge, and doing it from scratch costs the company a lot. And making them do things that they didn't sign up to will cause them to lose motivation, so they can put up a listing and see who bites is a better approach, I think. I see. Darn. If it's tough, we can ask another temp agency for a systems engineer? That's pretty common in situations like this. I see. But then they leave after a few years, so I'd love to raise one at our own company. Good, she's thinking. That's true. I think we got lucky that Kaito came here. There are also a few other systems engineers, so I don't think there's much reason to ask temp agencies for more help. We didn't ask for any help with systems engineers, so I'm sure the CEO was just trying to help her out. He's so clever. Phew, all done! Great work. Thanks for staying so late to finish off your work. Oh, hey, boss. If you're heading home now, wanna go home together? Sure. You stay pretty late too, don't you? The company is in danger, you know. Gotta do what you can. She's really changed. She's stronger now. I'm sure this company will do fine now. Thank you, Sakurai. The company is saved thanks to you. That's not true. It's because you faced the problem and made the right decisions. You threw away your pride and put your company first. It's important to think about your employees. I think that you're getting closer and closer to the ideal business owner. I'm saying that you are the one that pushed me in that direction. So stay by my side from now on, okay? Uh-huh. From now on, huh? What is that? Oh, I was just surprised that a random employee would hear that from his CEO. I mean, that might be true, but a lot of the older employees leave, and I'm planning on assigning you to an executive position. I see. I gotta turn that offer down. She got mad again because I wasn't giving her the responses she wanted, but I had my reasons as to why I didn't want to give her more in-depth responses. A year later... Thank you all for coming to help us out. Over the course of a year, this company completely changed. Not only was there a large group of highly skilled employees, we also managed to hire several good young employees. For a year, we made sure to train them well, and as a result, we have a team full of elite members. As a result, the company is benefiting, and has been on the up and up. If anything, the company is now doing better than before when we still have the other employees. That's why the help that came are going back to their original companies. It's really nice to know that we've got this far. It's because you work so hard. No, it's because my employees work so hard. Besides... Hmm? What is it? I, I think you've really supported me this year. I'm not exaggerating when I say that you've been my right arm. So I'm really hoping for you to stay there for me. And why don't we... Sorry, ma'am. I can't stay at this company anymore. Huh? The real reason that I came to this company was to test you, Miss Kajoin. Huh? What? What do you mean? I'm sure anyone in her position would be surprised, but I'm telling the truth. Your father asked me to do this. He wanted me to test to see if you were good enough to run this whole group of companies. I, I didn't hear about this. It wouldn't really be a test if I told you about it, now would it? That's why they chose a relatively young employee. Your company was doing relatively good, but you had so many people leaving. We have received information from employees that were dissatisfied. But why didn't you guys stop me before the employees left? You let all those great employees leave just to test me? No, they're going to work at a different company that your father owns. I came here and made sure to get along with all of them. I found people who were dissatisfied enough to go look for another company and offered them a position at your father's company. So in other words, they all left because of you? That's correct. If we left it all alone, they would all get away. We wanted to see how you would deal with a problem. A problem you couldn't just ignore. That's why you made one of the companies almost go under? Just for that! You and my father are both insane! No, that's not true. Your father believed that you would be able to rebuild this company. That's why he was able to go this far. Oh. Besides, although this was for a trial, I think he wanted you to experience a big loss. It's scary to think about someone in a position of power who hasn't experienced loss. And when it does happen, you don't know what could happen. However, if you had experienced this kind of thing before, you would figure out how to report and ask for help immediately, right? That's why, even though it was a fake experience, he wanted you to know about it. So, your test is complete. 
I think your father will be contacting you later. I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused you. Thank you and goodbye. My job at this company was done. I was gonna leave, but... Wait! Ma'am? I get that this was all a test up until this point, but it wasn't all just an act, right? And if the test is complete, you're free for now, right? So just stay here at my company. I don't know what I'll do without you. That's why I was able to push this far. Huh. This must be all part of the plan for him. Huh? What do you mean? Well, he actually talked to me. He said that once the test is free, I can do what I want. I can go back to where I was, or I can stay here and work with you. So you'll stay? Yeah, I guess working here for a year will change me. I have memories here now. If you didn't try to stop me, I would have gone back, and if you did stop me, I was gonna stay here. Thank you. I won't let you regret it. I'll be sure to make you happy that you stayed with me. Thank you. <laughs> this is why I decided to stay at our company. So, like I was saying, I wanted you to support me in private as well as at work. Wait, hold on just a minute! I owe your father a lot, so I'm not sure if I should. Ignore him for a second. How do you feel? I like you, so I'd like to date you. If you're staying, that means you like me too, right? I mean, yeah, I do like you too. Then let's go out. It's okay, I don't have anyone that my father wants me to marry, and he didn't ask me to marry someone for the company. But, but I'm not sure. He really loves you, and if I say I wanted to date his daughter, I don't know how he'll react. Oh, come on. You're always such a man. Stand up for yourself. I said forget about him for a second. She kept flirting with me after this. As a result... Sure, you do do what you want. I like you as if you were my son. And I'm pretty happy you two are together. He said that the whole thing was fine. That's surprising. He's so in love with his daughter that he carries her photo everywhere. Yay, now we can go on dates without being worried. However, I guess everything fell into place since she's happy too. <laughs> on the way home, she held onto my arm and wouldn't let go. She looked like such an adult, but she was a child at heart. I'm glad we were accepted. Yeah, but I have a question. Why are you so close to my father? And what do you mean you owe him? Oh yeah, about that. I'm actually an orphan. I met your father when I was in elementary school and he saved me. But I didn't know that. It's not like we live together. However, he always swung by to see me and helped me out a lot. That's why I studied hard to join his company and to repay him. I see. Then I'll take care of you now in place of him. We're going to be a family one day anyway. Thank you, ma'am. After staying with her for a year, I know now. I can be happy with her. That's why I'm repaying him and my boss. No, Jiroha would be my top priority. My name is Tomoki Funuyama. Today is me and my girlfriend's seventh anniversary. Sorry to keep you waiting. Yet I had to work late and kept her waiting. Hey, you're late. Sorry. Work took longer than usual. I managed to get it done in a hurry, so I was only 15 minutes late. But that doesn't change the fact that I made her wait for me. This is Kakone Shirahoshi. We're childhood friends and have been dating since our sophomore year of high school. With her great looks, she was scouted during her freshman year of high school and has been working as a model ever since. Being successful, she makes a lot more than I do. Get it together, all right? You should be finishing your work on time. You're right. I'll do better. You keep on saying that. Is work more important to you than I am? What? No, it's not like that at all! <sighs> I'm not in the mood anymore. I think I'm gonna go home today. What?! I'm just kidding. Let's go then. I can't tell if she's being serious or not! She has always been popular with boys. In high school, she would get asked out at least once every other week. I wonder why she decided to date someone like me in the first place. She could date any man in the world. What, you're not coming? What? Oh, I'm coming! You know I was just kidding earlier. I know, it's fine. Okay. After this, we had dinner at an expensive restaurant and stayed at my house. One day... Huh? Why is Mikoto calling me? Mikoto is my cousin who is five years younger than me. He lives far away, so we only ever see each other on the holidays. As children, we used to play together. But that was a long time ago. Hello? 
Hey, Tomo, how are you? I'm good. What's up? I'm visiting your city next Saturday. I was wondering if you could let me stay a night at your place. Are you coming by yourself? What about your parents? It would help me out a lot. All right. How can I say no to my cousin? You can stay. Yay! Thank you, Tomo. I love you so much. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, I'll come pick you up when you arrive at the station on Saturday. Sounds perfect. Thank you again. See you soon. Just like that, Makoto hung up. She's always been like this. Bubbly and social. And active and busy. I don't want her getting lost, so I decided to pick her up from the station. And then came Saturday. Hey, Tomo! Sorry for keeping you waiting. Hey, Mikoto. That seems like a lot of stuff for a night over. It's all girl stuff, okay? Okay, okay. Don't be mad. I'm not mad. Anyways, let's go to your place now. Hey, why are you getting so close? <laughs> why wouldn't I be? It's been forever since I last saw you. She hasn't changed at all. She's always been affectionate since we were kids. We both grew up as only children, so we became friends like siblings. What's going on? Who is that girl? Why is she holding on to Tomoki's arm? She even has a traveling bag with her. Is she staying at his house? I was about to go on the train to run an errand and happened to witness this unbelievable sight. I couldn't hide my confusion. I never imagined Tomoki would be a cheater. I rushed to follow Tomoki and the girl. Uh, forget my errands. Finding out what's going on with Tomoki is more important. But Tomoki would never cheat on me. He's probably helping a girl who's lost. I'm sure the girl's just lost, anxious and clutching onto Tomoki's arm. Tomoki is a nice guy, so he's approachable. That must be it. That's what I try to tell myself. As his girlfriend, I have to believe in Tomoki. I trust him. I trust... Oh no, isn't that his apartment? Maybe they live in the same building? Or she's moving into the same building, and Tomoki's just showing her around? No, that's not it. Because they seem to be close from the beginning. They went to his room. I can't believe I was being cheated on this whole time and never realized. I felt sick to my stomach. I was devastated. I've been in love with Tomoki since I was a little girl. That's why I was so happy when he asked me out in high school. I remember it like yesterday. How could he cheat on me? I wanted him to pay attention to me. That's why I'd sulk on purpose whenever Tomoki was busy with work. This is all because of me. That's why he fell in love with a different girl. After that, I was so shocked. I didn't even remember how I got home. So, how's your girlfriend? You just entered my room and that's the first thing you asked me? <laughs> I'm just curious what your girlfriend is like. As her future sister-in-law, I'd like to know. You're my cousin, Mikoto. I see you as my brother. Of course your girlfriend would be like a sister-in-law to me. I guess I see your point. Right? I've seen her in photos, but I want to meet her. I bet she's even more gorgeous in person. Hey, how about I meet her today? She has work, so maybe not today. Isn't she a model? So cool! More like pretty and cute. Oh, look at you. You must love her, don't you? But we've been having some trouble lately. I bet it won't be too long until she breaks up with me. What's wrong? It's nothing. Anyways, why did you come here? There's this manga event that's happening tomorrow. I'm going early in the morning. Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot you were into that stuff. I don't know how it happened, but by the time I realized it, Mikoto was already a manga nerd. Apparently, the manga she wants sells out quickly, so she wants to get in line early in the morning. Otaku culture is something Japan can be proud of abroad. Many foreigners love Japanese anime and manga. <laughs> You're right. Oh, yeah. I wonder if your girlfriend is into any cosplay. With her amazing looks, I think she could really pull it off. I'm not sure. She doesn't watch anime. Aw, that's too bad. If there's time, I'd love to talk to her about it. Good luck with that. Anyways, are you hungry by any chance? You must be hungry after traveling. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh my god. 
<laughs> I guess that's your answer. Th that wasn't me. I mean, it, it was, but it's not my fault. It's because you mentioned eating and it made my stomach growl. Hey, hey, calm down. I don't care about the growl. If you're hungry, we can go out to eat. Go out? Let's go. What do you want to eat? Ramen. I heard there's a lot of shops around here. All right, let's go then. And then we went to the ramen shop for dinner. That night, you've been watching anime all night. Have you packed for tomorrow? Yep, it's done. Okay, good. He's always so prepared. Huh? Oh, it's from Kakone. What? What did she say? Hey, back off! I'm not showing you. Oh, I see how it is. I bet it's something bad. What? No! You're acting suspicious. It's nothing! Stands up so Mikoto can't look at my screen. Stop with the narration! Seems like Mikoto's childish side hasn't changed at all. Let's see what Kakone's up to. Right now? She seems a bit off. Should I call her? I thought about it, but if she wanted to, she'd be the one to give me a call. She might not have enough energy to speak. Okay, I better get going. Hey, Makoto, I have to leave for a bit. Sorry. Are you going to see your girlfriend? Can I come too? Now's not the time. But if I don't come back past midnight, just go to bed, all right? But it's already late. Oh, I get it. Use protection. Don't be so dirty-minded. I rolled my eyes and walked out the door. I made my way to Kakone's house and saw her waiting outside. Tomoki. Kakone, what are you doing out here? I told you to wait inside. I just... She seems sad. Come on, let's talk inside. It's cold out here. Thanks. Thought she had work today. I wonder if something bad happened. I haven't seen her this sad since high school. So... What's going on? Um... It's okay. Take your time. It's better not to rush her. I decided to wait patiently until she spoke. Tomoki, do you love me? What? Of course I love you. Why are you asking that? Aww. What? What's going on? Why is she saying these things all of a sudden? Does she think I'm going to dump her or something? Kakone, I'll never leave you. There's nothing to worry about. I don't know why she's acting like this, but as her boyfriend, it's my duty to reassure her. If you say so. Why are you cheating on me? Cheating? I'm not cheating on you. How could I ever do that to you? But I saw you with that girl walk into your apartment. You were with her just moments ago before coming here, weren't you? Oh, that. That's my cousin. C cousins Yeah, her name is Mikoto. She's three years younger than I am. She's just visiting for now. She's still staying over at my house. Do you want to meet her? She's been dying to meet you. You mean this was all my misunderstanding? It seems like it. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I even made you come over just for this. No, I'm sorry, too. I should have told you about my cousin staying over. I'm glad it was just a misunderstanding. Yeah, I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. Are you feeling fine now? Yeah, let me stay like this, just a little more. When was the last time Kakone leaned in on me like this? It's cute. After that, I took Kakone to my apartment. What? No, this is totally my fault. I'm so sorry. When I explained Kakone's misunderstanding to Mikoto, she was shocked and apologized. No, I was too quick to make assumptions. And I should have communicated to you. Uh, I'm glad though. What? Because it shows how much you care for Tomo. Oh. To be honest, I was a little bit worried at first when I found out that he was dating a model. Tomo is a nice guy, but I didn't think he could date someone like you. So I'm glad I got a chance to get to know you today. Mikoto, I like how you just casually diss me. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. I guess we're not a good match. Hey, listen to me. Oh, well. Let's just leave him alone, Kokone. Hey! 
Anyways, even though Tomo and I are cousins, I see him as my brother. I hope you take good care of him. Thanks for everything, Mikoto. You know you act mature for your age. <laughs> you think so? It seems like they're getting along. They're starting to look like sisters. Coco, you're staying the night, right? Yeah, why? You want to watch some anime together? There's this series I want you to see. Oh, um... Kakone looks like she doesn't know what to do since she barely watches anime. Yeah, why not? Yay! You're gonna love it! Even though she's not interested, it looks like she couldn't turn down the offer. All three of us watch anime for the rest of the night. Hey, Coco, do you work tomorrow? I was wondering if you're interested in coming to the manga event with... Oh, I'm sorry. I have a photo shoot tomorrow. Oh, I see. I skipped the photo shoot today, so I can't miss tomorrow. I'm sorry. You skipped? Is everything okay? Yeah. Well, my manager wasn't too happy about it. I see. I'll come with you tomorrow and apologize. What? Are you sure? It's my fault that you skipped. Please, let me. Tomoki. I've known her manager since high school. When Kakone decided to go out with me, she chose to be honest with her fans about having a boyfriend. If she hid her relationship from her fans, she would get backlash if they found out one day. She wanted to tell her fans from the beginning, even if it would hurt her popularity. As expected, her agency was against it and tried to prevent us from dating. But Kakone said she would stop modeling if they didn't approve. Since Kakone was already gaining popularity, it would have been a big blow to the agency to have her quit. They eventually agreed, and Kakone and I's relationship became public. And that's how I know the manager. The next day, Kakone and I went to go apologize to the manager. After hearing what had happened, he was appalled. Instead of giving us a lecture, though, he suggested we live together so Kakone wouldn't be so worried. Since we both had enough money and had been together for seven years, we decided to move in together. And then a year later... Congratulations, you two! Kakone and I got married. We continued to date, and I proposed to her. Kakone had become very kind since my cheating fiasco, except she begged me to spend more time with her in addition to my job. So now I spoil her every day. Apparently, she reflected on her attitude during the cheating fiasco and decided to be more honest with her feelings. I couldn't help but think of how sweet she was, and I was going to keep making her happy. I've always liked you. Please be my boyfriend. It happened during the summer of junior year in high school. The most popular girl in the class, Yuka Shirakawa, told me she liked me. Miss Shirakawa was so cute that everyone in the school knew about her. I mean, it was bound to be her, given her gentleness and great personality, along with her amazing looks. No one would have thought that I would be the one she would ask out. I, Kato Ichizen, I'm an ordinary high school student with nothing much to like about me. Um, sorry, I don't get why you like me. I've always thought fondly of you. But we went to different middle schools and were put into the same class for the first time this year. Does time pass differently for us or something? I mean, they do say that time flies when you're having fun. I'm sorry, I, I can't date you. Uh, no way! Who says no way to themselves? Um, well, we are in the same class, but we've never spoken before. I really am a boy magnet, you know? A bunch of guys have asked me out, and you're still going to say no? I mean, I could tell by her looks, of course, but I didn't think she'd try to convince me like that. I'm sorry, I I'm just not interested in dating right now. Guilt tripping. But I've only known her through other people's gossip. And she is cute, but it's not that I like her, so. So that's my answer. I'm sorry. Why so many sorries? I have something I've got to finish, so I'll get going. Oh, wait! Seemed like she was gonna keep me there, so I quickly left the scene. A few days later. Hey, Kento! We're hosting a blind date tomorrow, are you coming? For some reason, my best friend Kazuki asked me to go to a blind date. He's a ladies guy, as you can tell by his looks, but he's actually a great person. And he's also my childhood friend, so I usually hang out with him, 
but he's never asked me to go to a blind date with him before. Nope. Well, that was quick. But don't you want a girlfriend? No, I'm not going. I rejected Miss Shirakawa a while back. It would be rude to go on a blind date right after. People who go to stuff like that gossip a lot, so it's important for me to avoid it to avoid any conflict. Please, we just need one more person! But why does it have to be me? Aren't there a ton of guys who'd like to participate? Mm, it's hard to explain, but it has to be you. Please, just think of it as helping me out! I see. He wants me to act cool so he has a better chance. With all of the extroverts there partying, I could already see myself sitting alone in the corner. I would usually say no, but... Fine. You're coming?! Only this time. I knew Kazuki wanted a girlfriend, so I decided to help him out just this once. But this decision turned out to be a terrible decision. On the day of the date, for some reason, Miss Shirakawa was there, with the other girls. They never told me who the girls were going to be. It was a blind date, of course, but now, I'm stuck in this awkward situation. And why are they all from our school? Every one of them were people that I'd seen at school before, maybe even from my same grade. I thought stuff like this was set up between different schools. Ah! Mr. Ichizen! Uh, yes? I didn't know you went to things like this. I thought you weren't interested in girls, so I didn't expect to see you here. She's for sure after me. I mean, it's true that I said I wasn't interested in dating, and it's true that I'm here at a dating party right now. Uh, you too, Miss Shirakawa. I, I didn't expect to see you here. <laughs> Something sad happened to me a while before, so I came here to do some research and see what a likable girl is. But what a coincidence! Her smile is so intimidating. I didn't think you two would be friends! I've never seen you two speak in class before. No, Kazuki, this isn't a friendly encounter. Please help. I couldn't say anything out loud, and decided to ask for help just with eye contact. But after looking at me blankly, Kazuki just started talking with other girls. Dang it! Mr. Ichizen, would you like to go get drinks with me over there? Um, I'm still not thirsty. I'll go after everyone else. Oh, that's true. I'll go then, too. Uh, no, it's fine if you go before me. No, I'm not in a rush, so it's fine. I guess she's not letting me escape. She's probably trying to find a chance to get me alone. I'm trying to avoid that as much as I can, since you never know what she might say when we're alone. That's what I thought, but... How did this happen? I was trying to avoid being alone with her, but after Kazuki told me to go, here I am. And that's how I ended up in this situation. Now, Mr. Echizen... Uh, yes? I thought you weren't interested in dating right now. Well, what happened was... Since I knew that she'd go after me, I told her about me being there just to make the number of boys and girls equal. But... Huh? You really think someone would believe that lie? Miss Shirakawa didn't believe me. I mean, who would? Simply given the fact that I'm here, I was already a liar in her eyes. How could I get you to believe me? Oh, what's the point in me believing you? Kinda harsh. You really are pretty mad, huh? No, not at all. But there's no need to cover up why you're here. It's only natural that a boy would be interested in girls. Um, is she trying to conclude that I am interested in dating others? Well, but if you feel bad about lying to me, then you could make up for it by going on a date with me after this. Huh? Oh, do you not want to? Uh, no, uh, I'd love to accompany you. I couldn't take her unnerving smile anymore. I said yes right away. She looks gentle, but has an intimidating side, I suppose. Hey, Miss Shirakawa! You look happy! Did something good happen? Nope, nothing at all. Really? All right then. Hey, best friend, shouldn't you be able to notice something's off? The most popular girl in your class is happy. Ask her what's up. 
Why do you all have such a little interest in her anyway? Wouldn't people go crazy over such a cute girl if this was a normal dating party? Right now, they're all ignoring her. Something's wrong. Maybe he really is a traitor. After that, not much happened, and the party came to an end. Then... Alright, then let's go, Mr. Ichizen! <laughs> Don't dating parties have an after party? Huh? No, nope, we're all going home after this. Huh? I really feel like something's wrong. My best friend acting differently had me alarmed. Mr. Ichizen, shall we go? What? What are you doing? <laughs> Isn't it fine? Uh, no, it is not fine! And in front of everyone else? Everyone else left already. What? Where'd they go? They probably already went home. That was way too fast! Is that even possible? The people who were there were the type of people who loved to stand around and talk. How did they leave already? But as I was standing there confused, Miss Shirakawa pulled my arm. That doesn't matter! Let's go already! Um, sure. Miss Shirakawa started looking frustrated, so I just listened to her and went along. But what's really happening here? Is there anywhere you'd like to go to? Um, we can go anywhere you'd like. Then, how about the aquarium? Sure. Do you like fish? Well, something like that. I see. I didn't know we had something in common. I actually love fish. Of course, eating them too, but right now, I mean watching them. That's why I take Kazuki to the aquarium with me sometimes. I mean, Kazuki usually says it's sad to see two guys go into an aquarium together. The two of us made our way to the aquarium. Wow! So beautiful! When we went under the aqua tunnel, Miss Shirakawa let her eyes shine. It really is exciting to see something out of the ordinary like this. I've been here many times before, but I still love coming to this place. Look! <laughs> Mr. Seal is sleeping! Yeah. He looks like he's really relaxed. So cute! Huh? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Huh? I was close. Miss Shirakawa getting excited was so cute that I was stuck staring at her. We continued to go through the aquarium. Whoa, look! Mr. Dolphin! But he looks different from the dolphins I know. Oh, they're a different kind of dolphin. They have some stripes and a fin that's shaped like a seeth. Wow, he's cute but cool at the same time! Ah, it's Mr. Penguin! This is the Arctic Zone, isn't it? They look like they're frozen. Are they too cold to move? No, they just don't have the need to move. They get fed and they have no predators here, so they don't have to move. Ah, uh, I see. You know so much, Mr. Ichizen. Uh, no, not at all. I just know a bit about fish and aquatic animals. It's amazing to know a lot about something. Is she an angel or something? She's way too nice. Even after that. Whoa! That whale is so big! She was reacting a lot to the things in the aquarium. I noticed while watching her, but... This girl probably has never been to an aquarium. I get the whale, but she was acting surprised by every fish she saw. Oh! <laughs> the fish were so cute! Miss Shirakawa seemed super happy when we left the aquarium. She probably had fun. I was feeling fulfilled too, having been able to see her cute reactions. Where shall we go next? Can I say something before that? Of course! What may that be? Um, why did you start to like me? Uh, all of a sudden? I mean, why would someone as popular as you like someone in the shadows like me? So, if there was a reason, I wanted to know. If I speak about it, you'll probably dislike me for it. Dislike you? Why? That's cause... 
Well, if I tell you, would you seriously think about dating me? Of course, that's why I want to know. After the day at the aquarium, I realized how attractive Miss Shirakawa was. That's why I wanted to know why she likes me. Until then, I can't let my guard down. Well, Kazuki and I are actually cousins. What? Really? Apparently Kazuki really was a traitor. I did think it was odd in the first place, but Kazuki probably set everything up just for her. So Kazuki has female cousins too? No, I'm his only cousin. Huh? No way. I've met one of his male cousins before though. I could never forget. Kazuki's grandpa's house was right next to mine, and his cousin would come over to play during the summers. Since I was Kazuki's friend, I ended up playing with him too until we were in elementary school, so I'd never forget. I remember his name is Yu. Wait. You? Wait. Are you you? Uh, yes. The bossy you who'd make Kazuki do everything for him? Yes, that you. <laughs> but you're like a completely different person. What happened in the past few years? All of that dark past is behind me. That's why I didn't want to tell you about it. A dark past, huh? I guess, I mean, I guess it is a dark past. She's the girliest of girls right now, but used to be the bo- but used to be bossier and more boyish than me or Kazuki. I can't imagine how many times my parents got mad at me for doing something for you. I thought that the reason you quit coming to Kazuki's grandpa's house was because he was in his rebellious phase. I'd imagine how much of a delinquent he'd become, but who would have thought he became this pretty of a girl? You never know what's going to happen in life, I guess. So, what made you change so much? Well, that's cause, um, as we played with each other when we were young, I began to like you, Mr. Echi's Kento. So, after that, I tried to become as girly as possible, but I couldn't say that I was you because I thought you'd hate me. So I avoided seeing you even when I went to Grandpa's house. So she'd been coming to her grandpa's house as usual. Does that mean Kazuki was being forced to keep it a secret? I guess he's still scared of you. And now we go to the same high school because she moved here. I understand why you like me, but I didn't expect you to be you. See, I told you you'd hate me for it. That's why I didn't want to tell you. You probably only have bad memories about me anyways. Well, I mean... I do have a few things that I regret doing that you made me do back then, which got me into a lot of trouble, but... Because, I mean, even though my parents said no, you took me to the mountains to go on adventures all the time. And getting scolded by my parents was one thing, but every time we'd encounter snakes and wild dogs, and I can't even count all the times I thought we were dead. I really do feel bad for that! I mean, you really did protect me every single time! Yes, this you over here, and Kazuki, were both huge scaredy-cats back then. Especially you, who'd boss everyone around, but freeze as soon as a snake or something popped out. So every time, I'd be the one to protect those two from danger. <laughs> I guess it was a bit cruel of me to recall those things, but I can't help the shock. Oops, I may have gone a bit too far. I'm sorry, I'll quit joking around. Let's get back to the talk about us dating. Oh! Uh, will you date me? Um... Yes. I think you're really adorable, you. <laughs> really? I thought you wouldn't be able to give me an answer because of your indecisiveness, and that you said we could start as friends. <sighs> I'm very glad you said yes! Hmm... Maybe I'll take everything back. You're making fun of me, aren't you? No way! I really do feel very fond of you. Then why would you say I'm indecisive? We were in a great mood, but now because of what you said, we were already arguing. But we actually started dating after this. 
It was big news throughout the school that the popular girl got a boyfriend, but there's nothing unexpected. I was exposed to a bunch of jealousy, but decided that it was the cost of dating a popular girl, and didn't give much thought to it. FYI, I did thank Kazuki for letting me date you, but I made him promise that he'd never betray me again. If not, you'll never know what you might leak information about. <laughs> <sighs> it's this late again. I, Eiji Kasuda, 27 years old. Return home while being swayed by the last bus. I work for a small company that manufactures audio equipment. A hobby I've enjoyed since I was a student. It's very rewarding, but I'm having some problems at the moment. Oh, here she is again. Lately, when I take the last bus at this time of the day, the same high school girl always sits next to me. She's a little roughly dressed, but she's pretty with long black hair. I don't know her, but I know her headphones very well. The model number is Can01V, which I actually designed for the first time four years ago. It's nicknamed Canon by some, and I have a lot of affection for it. It's rare to find a kid this age own one, because of its low availability in the market, and its high price. I wonder what she's listening to. I shouldn't stare at her too much, but I'm still curious. I wonder what kind of sound she's listening to through what I designed. But I don't have the courage to just talk to a high school girl out of the blue. And one more thing. Why does she always sit next to me? There are other seats available, but she always sits next to me. I don't think she would take a liking to an older guy like me, but I'm still curious. She's sleeping again. As usual, I lend her a shoulder and nudge her up before her bus stop. She's so defenseless. Or maybe she's at ease. What does she think of me? The next day at work, when I told my junior staff about it, they laughed hysterically. She's just taking advantage of you! Uh, I... I guess you're right. She probably thinks I'm a wimpy old man. Maybe I'm worrying about it too much, but you really need to laugh that hard. More importantly, it seems like this company is getting ready to be sold after all. I see. I guess there's nothing we can do. The junior employee kept his voice down, but this was known to all the employees. Our company had been in a financial slump for the past few years. If things continue as they are, they're going to be absorbed by a major audio manufacturer overseas. I don't mind that as long as I don't lose my job. But as a chief developer, I'm a little worried. We've been making products with the skills of local craftsmen to ensure the quality of sound. But what the major audio manufacturers want is low-cost, mass-produced products. To put it bluntly, the quality of the product is of secondary importance. And the researchers over there were going to work on that. Which means they don't need our technical staff. When this was being discussed, my seniors went independent or went to other companies. They were all very particular about manufacturing, so they couldn't agree on this matter. If the company were to go bankrupt, however, all the employees would be in trouble. So selling the company was a choice that had to be made. I wonder if it's time for me to move on too. I got on the last bus with these worries in my mind, and the girl sat next to me again. She started dozing off as soon as we got on the bus, and slept on my shoulders again. Things are so much simpler when you're a kid this age. I'm getting sleepy too. Lately I've been riding the last bus, working overtime to make a new product that was going to decide the fate of the company. In a last ditch effort, I'm developing a new product with my juniors. If this doesn't sell, no. I hope it sells. Oh no, I slept! Where is this? I woke up just before the bus stop where she usually gets off. She was still asleep next to me, so I hit the stop button instantly, like a quiz show. She was still sound asleep, so I shook her awake. You! Next bus stop! Huh? What? Oh! Her face was bright red. She seemed very surprised. Maybe because I suddenly shook her awake, or maybe because I touched her shoulder. I... I'm sorry. She got off the bus in a panic as soon as she arrived at the bus stop. I looked at the seat next to me and saw something where she was sitting. Is this her student ID card? Her name seems to be Tsukishima Shizuku. She was a senior in high school and a student at Alice Woman's Private Academy. This is not good. Should I bring it to the police station? No, she'll probably take the same bus, so if I don't see her tomorrow, I'll give it to the driver. The next day, she got on the same bus at the same time. 
She looked at me and blushed. But then she walked straight over to me and sat down next to me. She's kind of a strange girl. Um, here. What? This student ID card is yours, right? Uh, yes, it is. Why do you have it? I think you left it on the sea yesterday. I'm sorry, I saw your name on it. No, that's okay. I'm honored that you know my name. Huh? A an honor? N nothing please don't mind me. Huh? No further conversation followed, and silence continued until she got off. The next day, and the day after that, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, she got on the last bus and sat down next to me. If I go home earlier, would Tsukishima-san be riding alone at this time? I was starting to get interested in her as these thoughts ran through my head. Then one day, I was called in by the president. What? I'm going to be the guide for the factory tour? Yes, you're still young, but there are no employees left who can be called old-timers. Eiji, I'm sorry, but will you take on the job? Uh, okay, uh, I understand. And Eiji, the development of the new product you mentioned seems to be progressing quite well. Yes, the cost. Well, it's going to cost a little... No, it's okay. It may be the last time, so do what you need to do. The president lost a lot of weight. I hope he doesn't collapse from the strain. I took on the role of guiding the tour of the factory. It looks like the students visiting were from Alice Woman's Academy. Huh? Alice Woman's Academy? I saw a familiar face among the female students. Tsukushima Shizuku-san. She also came to visit our factory. But even though we knew each other, we only spoke to each other once or twice in the bus. So it's not like seeing each other would give off some kind of reaction. So our products are made with the help of the local people. I mean, it's boring just looking at it, isn't it? Ugh, the honest opinion of a girl. Wait, you're really handsome. R really? Th thank you. Hey, hey, do you have a girlfriend? If not, I will. Uh, <laughs> Girls these days are so aggressive. Hey, it's rude to Kusura-san if you joke around like that. Tsukishima-san? What? But it's so boring. That's because you don't know how great each product is. And Eiji Kusada-san who developed those products is really amazing. Aww, isn't Eiji Kusada the guy you always talk about at school? How you admire him and say how he's really handsome and that you really like him? Uh, uh, uh I didn't say that. I'm sorry, Kusada-san, it's nothing. Uh, <laughs> I see. So that's why he always sat next to me. Somehow I got the point. Apparently she knew of me before, so maybe she wore those headphones as an appeal? So she wanted to sit next to someone she admired, if I may say so myself. I mean, aren't microphone speakers and headphones all the same? Not at all. The quality of these products are amazing. Wait, wait, Chizuku, do you work here? Uh, no, I'm just a heavy user. Um, would you like to experience it? Uh, what? What kind of experience? Well, I think you'd understand better if you actually tried it in person. With that said, I led the girls to the development room. It's actually off limits, but I have special permission from the president. Whoa, amazing! Huh? Weren't you a little too excited, Chizuku? Because, because, this place is usually off limits. Uh, huh, it's that amazing? Then let's have you experience the difference in sound. I'm going to have you wear two sets of headphones. One is our product and the other is made by another company. Okay, I'll volunteer first. So how are these headphones? Well, normal. I mean, can you really tell the difference in sound? Let's try. Put the other one on. The first one is made by another company, and this one was ours. Uh, wait, the sound is completely different. Can you tell what the difference is? It's like uh, the sound is clearer. I, I can hear every little note distinctly. You have pretty good ears. 
We're very particular about the materials we use. It's made from magnesium alloy. Newly developed low resilience ear pads minimize sound from leaking, but don't hurt your ears even after prolonged use. <laughs> Shizuku, you work here, don't you? Why do you know so much? Thank you for explaining everything for me. I want these headphones. How much do you sell them for? About 3,000 yen? Um, they're 100,000 yen. What? If it's 100,000 yen? What, for real? Yes, our prices started around 70,000 yen. I'm really sorry for getting carried away. I apologize. I don't know why, but I made her apologize. Kusura-san, please, let me wear those headphones too. Huh? But, Tsukishima-san, you already know... But please, I'm always ready. Uh, okay, I understand. Shizuku, what are you blushing for? Uh, I'm not blushing. <laughs> That's so obvious. Kusura-san, this is her first time, so please be gentle with her. I... I'm just asking him to put the headphones on me. This energy is too much for an old man like me. Afterwards, I showed the girls around the lab. They seemed to enjoy the experience. Meanwhile, I was thinking back to when I started this job. I was reminiscing about the joys of experiencing sound firsthand, and the days when we struggled with research and development. As I was thinking about that... Huh? Where's the other girl? In the bathroom. Anyways, I'm sorry she's so restless. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks to you, it brought back some memories of when I was young. When you were young? Our company was originally founded by a group of local craftsmen. Maybe that's why all the workers above me had craftsmen-like qualities. We were always fighting with each other. I was always there to mediate from the side. But after work, we would all go out for a drink, and eventually we all became friends. Oh, excuse me. This is boring, isn't it? No, not at all. It sounds like a nice memory. I yes well... But you seem kind of sad, Kusura-san. Huh? It sounded as if this company, Kusura-san, was going to leave or something. There must also be a reason why we are allowed to enter the laboratory, which is usually off-limits. Well, that's... There's something going on, isn't there? I don't have a problem telling you since the information has already been made public, but... Our company is about to be absorbed by a major overseas audio equipment manufacturer. What? So this company is going to disappear? No, but the products are going to change. The company will remain with a different name. But I told Tsukushima-san that I would no longer be involved in research and development. So I thought it would no longer be needed by this company. That's not good. The product has to be developed by you, Kusura-san. But our products are expensive. These days, it's better to mass-produce them at a low cost. That's because people don't know about your Canon series. You heard that girl today, didn't you? The sound is completely different. I was so moved by that as well. I desperately worked part-time in high school so I could afford one. It's something that means so much to me. So valuable and so dear to my heart. Tsukishima-san... I came here once when I was in junior high for a social studies field trip. In fact, that's when I met you for the first time. What? You did? Yes. At that time, I was so impressed by the sound of this that I decided to get a part-time job to buy one when I entered high school. People often tell me I'm strange, but that's how impressed I was. Since then, I've come to admire the person who developed this. I thought that person must be a very particular, thorough, and sensitive in kind who works hard for the people without being known. <laughs> You're good at giving compliments, Tsukishima-san. But it's true. In reality, I'm just a dull man in his late 20s. I'm not the kind of person that high school girls would be attracted to. And just as I was about to say that... Yes. Kusura-san is a kind man, who gently lends me his shoulder as I sleep on the bus. As pleasant as the sounds that flow from these headphones. Unexpectedly, my heart fluttered at her smile. 
I never thought I would feel this way about a girl nearly 10 years younger than me. But if the new product doesn't sell, our company... Uh, that's right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be selfish. No. Hearing you say that makes me feel more motivated. If only you could let everyone know how great your products are. That's easy, isn't it? What? How long have you been here? Hmm, since around... It sounds like a nice memory. That's a while! Anyways, I got nice vibes coming from you two. Hey, we were talking about something serious. <laughs> She's so shy and cute, like a girl in love. Stop! More importantly, what do you mean it's easy? Just ask an influencer to spread the word at once. Influencers? Doesn't it cost a lot of money for advertising? That's not a problem. She's a girl take care of that. What? Me? Didn't I ask you if you were working for this company? Oh, I see. I didn't think of that. That's right. And using such and such a trick. Um, you two. I have no idea what you're talking about. A week later, the new product I was working on, Cano 7V, was completed. And then... Take a look! Shizuku's video! Isn't it really cool? Whoa! Tsukishima-san! You're getting so much buzz! Tsukishima-san was actually a high school influencer, popular among teens and 20-year-olds. She aspires to be a singer, and has gained popularity on TikTok and YouTube with her beautiful voice and cuteness. We loaned Tsukishima-san all of our audio equipment to make this video. Putting focus on the new headphones, our product name was shown at the end. A link to our website was also placed in the description. We also asked Tsukishima-san's friends to help us spread the word through social media. Kusura! They're out of stock everywhere! We don't have any more in stock! I'll order the parts. Can you run the production line at full capacity? I'll see what I can do. Orders came in not only from Japan, but also from overseas. Word of mouth spread to people in the audio industry, and magazines even interviewed us. Later that day, I went to a cafe with Tsukishima-san to thank her again. Thanks to you, our company was able to get back on its feet. The talks of selling the company are gone, and it looks like the former employees will be coming back. Really? I'm glad I could be of help. Thank you so much, Tsukishima-san. The president wants to thank you later on behalf of all the employees. Oh, no, that's fine. Don't hesitate. Right, if there's anything I can do for you. Uh, then, with me... With you? No, I've already received various things from you, Kusura-san. What? I'm actually gonna make my debut as a singer. It seems like that video was the deciding factor. R really? Congratulations! So, it looks like I'll be going to Tokyo this spring. What? Uh, I see. Tokyo. That's a long way. I'm happy and sad at the same time. I'm sad to be separated from you, whom I've just gotten to know. No, that's something to be happy about. It was your dream, wasn't it? You made your dream come true! Kusuda-san. That's great! I'm so happy for you! Yeah, you may be right. I'm rooting for you, so do your best! She saved the company, so it's my turn to push her out with a smile. Despite that, I felt a pain in my chest. Six months passed. I haven't seen Tsukishima-san since then. We didn't exchange contact information, so I occasionally receive letters from the company addressed to me. It seems like she's doing good. I'm glad. And relieved. I was so busy every day that I had to catch the last bus again. I've been getting calls and emails every day asking for our products. Which I'm happy and grateful for. But after work, I'd often find myself like this, dozing off. There was a gaping hole in my heart. That's how I felt. Um, may I sit here? Ah, uh, yes. Tsukishima-san? It's been a while, Kusura-san. Yeah. Wait, why are you here? I finally got a consecutive holiday, so I came back to my hometown and to see Kusura-san. So, let me do this for a while. Oh, 
I feel at home on your shoulder. I want to stay like this forever. After this, the popular artist and the dull guy nearing his thirties kiss each other without any hesitation. What happened to us after that? Well, I'll leave that to your imagination. Good morning, Yamato. Let's go to school soon. When I, Yamato Aizawa, left my house, my childhood friend Azusa Kigurai was there to pick me up. Azusa has always come to my house to pick me up since elementary school. Since our houses are next to each other, I guess it's natural that we go to school together. <sighs> oh, what? Were you up late playing video games again? Nope, it wasn't games. Ugh, it was anime. You haven't changed. Just because your parents are overseas doesn't mean you can do whatever you want. Six months ago, my mom went abroad with my dad when he was transferred overseas. I stayed behind in Japan because I don't speak English. I don't know about leaving their high school some behind, but I'm glad that I can do whatever I want. But Azusa is keeping an eye on me because of that. It's fine. It's not like I'm bothering anyone. Well, you don't have the guts to sleep during class, so... Yeah, that's true, but why bother telling it? If it's true, it can't be helped. Azusa has always been like this. She's strangely curt, and I don't know what she's thinking. But she's good at her studies and sits at the top of the class. On top of that, she's got the good looks, and boys have confessed her feelings for her many times. And yet, she's never had a boyfriend, which is strange. If you slack off too much, I'll tell your parents. Oh, come on! If you do that, I won't get any allowance to buy games and stuff! If you get bad grades, you won't get an allowance anyway. No, I've never gotten bad grades thanks to you helping me on my tests. I'm the one who has to teach you every time you take a test. What? I feel like you're the one who's always forcing me to study for the test with you. If I leave you alone, you won't study. That's why I have no choice but to help. By the way, if I refuse or ran away, she gets furious and comes into my room. I have nowhere to run because my mom and dad gave Azusa an extra key. Our parents have been friends since they were students. I'd have known Azusa since she was a baby. That's why they're so sweet to her. Which is why Azusa is not afraid to come over to my house. Alright, do your studies well today too, okay? <laughs> you sound like my mother. I'm sorry? No, it's nothing. To be honest, Azusa is a little difficult. If anything, she's got a temper. So I often make her angry, and when I do, I run away as fast as I can. But I don't have any friends other than Azusa, so we're always together. One day... Hey, Aizawa! Can I talk to you for a second? I was approached by a classmate, Kato-san, for some reason. She's a bright, energetic, and a sociable gal. I've barely spoken to her, though. Um, what is it? You're good friends with Kagurai from Class B, aren't you? Well, we grew up together. I knew it! Can I ask you a favor? A favor? For what? I want to be friends with Kigurai. So, will you come between us? I see, that type of favor. I've been asked this many times by guys in the past. I keep refusing because Azusa's mood gets really bad when I do that, but... Kato is a girl, after all. I've never had a girl ask me for this kind of thing, so maybe Azusa will be pleased. For what it's worth, Azusa doesn't have any friends she's close to either. Why do you want to be friends with uh, Azusa? Because she's cool and she can study, which makes her even cooler. This girl, I'm pretty sure she's popular with the guys. But I guess Azusa's cool in the eyes of these girls too. Yeah, okay, then I'll introduce you to Azusa then. Really? Thanks! Oh, will you hang out after school then? Of course! I guess I'm gonna introduce her to Azusa after school. That's what I thought. What? I'm going shopping with you? When school ended, she asked me to come along with her for some shopping. Because it would be rude not to bring a gift. So tell me what you think Kigurai would like. I don't think you need to go that far. No, in times like this, the beginning is the key. I understand that, but a gift to become a friend? I had my doubts, but she was so desperate that I couldn't say no. I sent a message telling Azusa to go home first. Oh, a notification? Who could it be? Receiving a message at school was unusual, so I opened my phone. Sorry, something came up. Go home first. 
Er... Apparently, it was Yamato who sent the message. However... Suspicious. I felt something strange about the message from Yamato, which was sent out of the blue. If he had something to do, he would have contacted me as soon as he made plans judging from Yamato's personality. So... He must have something to do at this very moment, but... There's only so many errands you can run at this time of day at school. Yamato's teachers don't rely on him, so they've never asked them for anything. And I'm the only friend he has. <laughs> Smells like a girl. I thought it would be bad to leave it like this, so I immediately went after Yamato. And then... So, where are we going? How about a stuffed animal shop? Yeah, sure, that's a great idea. I know it! That's Toto, who's popular with the guys. Yamato, you're going on a date with her instead of me? You've got a pretty good head on your shoulders. You don't even own a single stuffed animal. How dare you lie to me like that? I have to stop them. I thought about it, but then I stopped myself. Even if I intervene here, there's a chance he'll say they were just talking. I'll let them continue the date and ask him if he's cheating on me with definitive proof. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll show you something for that, though. I... What's wrong? I just got the chills. Even though it's summer? Hmm, I don't know why, but I got the shivers. I look back, but there's no sign of anyone following me. Is it just my imagination? Is... is it a ghost? Oh no, don't do that! I'm not good with ghosts! <laughs> don't worry. The sun is still high in the sky. Don't you know? Ghosts actually come out even in the daytime. Well, maybe so, but don't worry about it anyway. Her... Aizawa, you're actually pretty dependable. What? Why all of a sudden? You seem calm, or rather... You make me feel at ease when I talk to you. We haven't talked much, but you can talk. I'm not very good at talking, but... Uh, there's someone. Uh, there's something behind me, isn't there? I can feel a grudge! After that, I got chills many times while I was shopping with Kato. Maybe I should go to an exorcism after all. That night. Yamato, I'm angry. Azusa? I told you, you can't come in my house without my permission! And for some reason, Azusa came into the house like this. I've got permission from your parents to check up on you whenever I want. Do I not have any privacy? Anyways. No, not anyways. It's really not good. I'm angry. Are you just going to ignore me? What are you angry about? Because you cheated on me. Cheating? What are you talking about? This is proof. This? So those chills were because of you? You were following me? It's your fault for cheating on me. You've been saying I cheated on you, but we're not even together to begin with. What are you talking about? We promised to get married when we were little. I remember that clearly. I didn't know that promise was still alive. You never said a word about it after we grew up, so I thought you'd forgotten about it. No, actually, that wasn't cheating or anything. Hmm, what is that sound? Wait, handcuffs? What are you doing? <laughs> I have to do this to you since your eyes keep wandering to other girls. Hey, I told you it's a misunderstanding! I can't live like this! Don't worry. Luckily, tomorrow is Saturday, so we'll be fine until Sunday at least. We're gonna live like this for three days? Azusa, you've gotta go home! It's fine. I told my mom and dad that I'm staying at Yamato's. And I got permission from your parents too. You're laying the groundwork with everything you've got! I'm going to end the game tonight. What games are we playing? <laughs> I'll make sure you can't live without me. What are you gonna do? I was so shocked, but... Yeah, good. You can pet me some more. For some reason, she was acting spoiled like this. In fact, she was making me pamper her. I'll make sure you can't live without me. She said, so I thought I was going to be pampered. What is this turn of events? <laughs> Yamato. Uh, uh, um, Azusa? Wasn't your personality completely different? 
I'm taking advantage of this rare opportunity to be pampered. You're turning defiant? I can't be pampered like this without an opportunity like this. Wait, she's kind of cute. And I know you like spoiling cats and dogs. In other words, you're a pet? No, a lover. A wife. You're really taking off. Um, so you like me, right? Er, uh, you mean for asking something like that? This should make it clear. She's sitting on my lap and getting pampered, so I guess that's what that means. Zeuser is cute when she's embarrassed, which is why I should let her know. Then let's stop this kind of thing and have a normal day tomorrow. You're going to stop pampering me? No, I'm talking about the handcuffs. I'm not going to run away and I want to enjoy our date. Then I'll take them off. Huh, she's surprisingly honest. I guess that means Azusa wants to go on a date too? So we agreed to go on a date and Azusa went back to her house. That's what I thought. Why are we sleeping together? Azusa went home once and after taking a shower, she came back to my room again. We had dinner together, but I didn't expect her to come into my bed. Just because we're going on a date tomorrow doesn't mean this is the end of it. That's true, but I mean, how could your parents say yes to this? They're rather supportive. I see. On the one hand, I'm happy that they trust me, but on the other hand, I'm embarrassed that they know about this situation. If it comes to this. I was actually going to tell you tomorrow, but if you're going to go this far, I think it's fine. What? Zusa, I like you too. Because I was going to tell you tomorrow on the date in a nice atmosphere, but you try to sleep with me, so if we're going to sleep together, I want to do it as a couple. Azusa claimed to be my lover or wife, but she didn't confess her feelings, so I guess she didn't really mean it. I wanted to make things right, so that's why I confessed my feelings to her. What about that person you were cheating with? No, Kato wasn't my cheating partner. She wanted to get along with you, so she talked to me about it. Get along with me? Why? Because you're charming. But you don't really try to get along with other people, so she probably asked me to help her. I see. How confusing. Yeah, if you hadn't followed me, there wouldn't have been any misunderstandings. Well, I'm not gonna tell you because you'll get upset if I say so, but... I'm not very good at getting along with others. I understand that, but it's okay once in a while, isn't it? I think Kato was a good person. Her, so it was cheating. No, it's not like that. You're mine now, Yamato. So don't think about anyone else. Yeah, to my surprise, Azusa gets jealous pretty easily. She's usually calm and cool, so that was a big gap. But I thought this part of her was cute too. You should only think about spoiling me instead. Is this okay then? Yeah, I like this. Come to think of it, Azusa used to be such a spoiled girl. I guess as she got older, she couldn't be pampered anymore. Which made me want to spoil her a lot more from now on. Let's go to bed for today. We're going on another date tomorrow morning. Yeah, from now on we can sleep together every night. So that's no problem. Wait, did we make a promise like that? I was wondering that, but I didn't have a reason to deny it, so I didn't say anything. And I closed my eyes quietly with Azusa. Hey, Yamato. Mm, what is it? We'll be together forever. I'm not letting you go. <laughs> yeah, okay. Azusa must be very bound since she even handcuffed me. But she's so cute, I don't mind. The next day, we went on an amusement park date as promised. Azusa wanted to go to the amusement park, but I'm fine with it because I can have fun anywhere with her. <laughs> Azusa was so cute and excited about it, so it was a happy day. And the next day on Sunday, Azusa didn't let go of me, so we were both still in bed until noon. I'm glad that she acts spoiled to me, but it seems that going out with her is not a simple thing to do. But this will probably settle down after a while. And what happened with Kato after that? Kikurai, no, Azusa, please, be my friend. Katie approached Azusa like this, and they became friends. Azusa also decided to be friends with her because she made a chance for us to get together. Azusa secretly started calling Makoto an angel. And as for us, Azusa sucked with me at school. 
and never let go. So we quickly became known to the whole school. All the guys who had feelings for Azusa were depressed because of their broken hearts, but they have no choice but to give up on the situation. Many people were jealous of me, but I was happy to be with Azusa, so I didn't care. Are you listening to me, Endo? From one corner of the office, I could hear a loud voice. Someone getting in trouble first thing in the morning? I'm sorry. What a pitiful person. It's to the point that you feel sad for them. Which is why someone should feel sad for me. Ah, oh, he's mad at me again. Feels bad first thing in the morning. I can hear my co-workers whispering. I feel like my heart is being gouged out. But Chief! I didn't think this would be a problem! Even though you are ranked lower than me, you went home ahead of me! Don't you see the problem? I've got nothing but problems. Usually, lower ranked members stay later than the bosses. That's the problem, you useless child! God, I wanna punch him. As punishment, you can't go home until you finish this extra work! Boss said that and then left the office with a big laugh. He looks relieved. Are you okay, Endo? I am happy that he's worried. Having co-workers is nice. But... I'm on fire! I'm Endo Suji, and I'm a 24-year-old working in an advertising agency. Despite being the first job I had after high school, pay is good. I gained some work skills, and I'm in a place where I might start my own ventures. Even so, this company is pretty brutal. Honestly, I'm at my limit. Working at a company that is brutal and exploitative is bad for mental health. Maybe I should quit. I have no future here. Maybe I should try to make it by freelancing. I thought about it briefly. Senpai! While I was thinking about that, there was a loud voice and a pleasant touch from behind me. Oh, it's Akakibara. You can grab me tighter. Wait! Isn't it usually let me go, stupid? I want her to hold me tighter so I can really enjoy her wonderful touch. Senpai, you've really changed. Her light brown hair and big round eyes. Her cute and charming face. In our awful office, she was like an oasis. Rumor was that she was the daughter of some CEO. It's hard to believe because she works at such an exploitative company. She's my subordinate who I get along with very well. Yes, I am sure my handsome good looks have changed. Oh, it's definitely that. All things considered, it was a disaster. The boss was furious today, too. It's rare to find a warrior so dedicated to asserting dominance indiscriminately. Shall I comfort you? You can lay on my lap. Absolutely. Whoa! Wait, wait. It's just a misunderstanding. What's a misunderstanding? You want to lay on your young, beautiful subordinate's lap? What part is a misunderstanding? I just want to feel a woman's thighs. Hey! You're playing around too much. Ugh, maybe I should quit. What? You're going to quit? My overconfident senpai is going to give up over some complaining? Is she messing with me? I mean, with him as my superior? The future is dark. It's hopeless. If it's decided, I should submit my letter of resignation so as not to make a fuss. S senpai what are you going to do after you quit? Do freelance for a while. Then if I'm able to make something of it, start a business. While it'll be tough to get started, it beats working under such an unreasonable boss. So you really are leaving? Even if I quit, I'll be sure to still drink with you. Every day. I'll become an alcoholic. Including the after party. I worry about my liver. This is good enough. In the end, I quit my job. I turned in my letter of resignation, and I don't know if it's because it was my boss that usually yells at me or what, but he readily accepted it. I used up the pay that I've been saving, and now I just finished cleaning my new room slash workplace. This way, I don't have to work in an office. But this way, everything becomes my responsibility. Well, that's that. The fact that I don't have to dash for my alarm is bliss. Though I don't have much savings left, so I have to do work. I figured I should work on the project that I've been working on from before I resigned. If I don't, starting next month, life might get a little tough. Thinking that, I quickly headed towards my desk, but then my doorbell rang. Okay, okay, I'm coming now! Good morning, senpai! What? I opened the door and Takakibara appeared. What are you doing here? 
Just a few days ago, I told my co-workers I was leaving and made plans for a going away party. I never said to come to my house, so I don't know what she's doing here. Shouldn't you be working right now? Hey, I just came to hang out. Yeah, I'm saying, isn't it a little weird to come hang out right now? Isn't it clear that it's because I don't have to work anymore? Wait a minute. Why are you saying that so matter-of-factly as if it's not a shock? Something big happened, so I quit. Oh, like you're gonna go work for your father's company? If it's a big thing, something intense must have happened. Like what if her parents collapsed? I just didn't feel like working anymore. That's not deep at all. That's very shallow. If I think about it, I have enough money saved up that I don't have to work if I don't want to. Wow. Such is the CEO's daughter's life. No, it's actually because I was really frugal and saved up a lot. She was always out getting drinks with me. It's crazy that she managed to save a lot. I'm jealous. Though, if you came to hang out, why do you have a carry-on? kind of thing you can only imagine is for travel or staying the night. Starting for today, I'm indebted to you! Stop messing around. It turned out to be nothing. Did you suddenly decide you're gonna live here? Are you stupid? I'm serious. That's bad. But isn't it a good thing for men to live together with a cute woman? Well, I guess I could drink at home then. And other things, right? Every day of the week. My liver will die. Okay, let's be roommates. Uh, why? Why doesn't he see me for the woman I am? We will split everything evenly. The way he is so relaxed about everything is getting on my nerves. So that's how Sakakibara and I ended up living together. Well, I'm a bit of an uninvited guest. I promise to actually help you out. With my work? Yes. No way! Really? That would really help me out. We'd be able to take on more consultating gigs with two people. Wow. Who knew that this could be an added benefit to a roommate? And what are the benefits of living with the opposite sex? Once we got our affairs in order, we went shopping by the train station. When we decided we were going to live together, it became clear it was difficult to just live out of carry-on luggage. I think we have everything we need. I'm surprised that we bought a case of beer. You're going to drink it, right? Of course. It's done, Senpai! Wow! As it got late, we decided to eat dinner. The Kakibara asked to cook, but I was shocked by how delicious the food looked. Wow! It looks incredible! Huh. This is the result of my bridal training. Hmm. Bridal training? What are you saying? Are you trying to insinuate that I wouldn't be a good bride? No, he definitely will be lucky. She can work has household skills, and there are no problems on the financial front. She's beautiful and her family has a business. All these good qualities, she is just the most excellent of excellent products. Uh, Why is your face red? It's your fault. Why? Now that we're relaxing after showering, we've come to our first problem. The sleeping situation. Exactly. Sorry, but I forgot to buy bed things. And of course, my bed is a single. I don't mind sleeping in the same bed as you. That's crazy. You're saying you want to sleep together with me while you're dressed like that? Wait, Senpai, are you finally seeing me as a woman? The Kakibara was playing a joke on me. I can see her smiling. I'll say it once more, but Sakakibara had the popularity of an idol in our company. To sleep in the same bed as a person like that? If I reached out, it might become a problem. A problem? We aren't children. We aren't children. That's exactly the problem. But in any case, we have to sleep at some point. Wow, I slept well. We were flirting so much, but he just totally went to bed like it was perfectly normal. In the end, I lost to sleepiness. No, I completely won to sleepiness. I'm starting to lose my confidence as a woman. I'm starting to feel as if I really might be able to live like this. God! At the beginning, we have to take what we can get. Otherwise, there might be problems later. Even so, isn't this a lot of work? How are you so popular? Don't bring work that can't be done by two people. Jeez. Understood. I'm sorry. How's the feel? Hmm. While it stretches and retains moisture, the quality of the product comes across. 
but I feel like the design of the package doesn't reveal the quality. Okay, we should use a different design. I figured you would say that. So I prepared an example with the other design. That was fast. Ha <laughs> Sakakibara, you are so talented. What is up all of a sudden, Senpai? I appreciate the compliment, but please eat the food before it gets cold. And such motherly qualities. Is it okay if I call you mom? Don't make me slap you. She really is so talented. Perfect work and good at cooking. And her point of view as a woman has been helpful at work. I could never have imagined this from previously working together. I wonder why. Maybe she's like the strongest type. Senpai? Uh... Maybe she was hiding her true powers of the company. Senpai, there's also beer. Mmm, that feels good. It's like I have a giant child. Senpai, you seem really used to me now. Is it because... I'm treating you as a woman? Well, sister. I didn't know Senpai had a woman! A sister. I can't believe this! A sister. I didn't think there would be any woman that would date you! Hey, that is cold and rude. In that case, I'm desperate! Senpai, let's take a bath together! Wait, that's a little too desperate. I know you don't have a girlfriend right now, so there shouldn't be a problem! There are all kinds of problems with that. Are you crazy? In any case, it took about 20 minutes to calm her down. Somehow, a week passed by. People are the sort that, with enough time, can adapt, so eventually living with my subordinate started to feel natural. Remember our old boss? The irrational guy who always causes you stress? Why did you have to say it like that? Did something happen to him or something? Apparently, performance has been bad, so he requested my consulting work. Serves him right. Didn't realize how good you were at your job. Wow, I'm blushing. Should we accept it? If you think we could take it on, I can try and make room for it. But we are full. Hmm, yeah. I guess we have no duty to accept it. Especially emotionally. It does serve him right. Plus, we've already been accepting work from the company. Okay, then I'll turn it down. I like your ruthlessness. All things considered, the work from R has been increasing. R is a famous cosmetic manufacturer that has a lot of little companies. There's no one in Japan who doesn't know the name. Its products line the drugstore aisle. Because they're a big company, they usually go for big company advertising agencies. But for some reason recently, they've been coming to us. It's weird because it's not like they have tried other ad agencies or failed or something. I wonder if you had something to do with this. Not at all. I just accepted what came in. It's crazy. How did you talk to the big company to convince them to work with us? We're just freelancers. I didn't think such people could secure that kind of work. I just got it from my dad. What? What? Is your dad working at a big advertising firm or something? No, he's the CEO of R. What? 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 Oh, did I not tell you? You never said anything about being the daughter of the R CEO, but I knew you were a CEO's daughter. If that were not the case, we wouldn't get such juicy work. I guess that's true. Hey, if you're the daughter of such a big company, why don't you just work there? You've been helping out a lot, but in the end, you're only a helper and I can't pay you very much. Currently, I can hand over a decent amount, but not comparable to R. Not just in salary, but employee benefits. There are no comparisons. I'm learning about the world. It's the reason I worked at our previous company. That makes sense. Though I always intended to return to R. But I just don't want to leave you, Senpai. She said in a coaxing voice as she came out to me. I don't know. Thinking about the future? Isn't it best to hurry up and work for R? You really would be okay being apart from me, Senpai? Eh? Well, I'd be lonely. Sakikabara has been a huge help. On the work front and the home front. So of course if she left, I would be lonely. Hey, Senpai. Is there a job you really want to do? Hmm? There's no work that I want to do. I just have this skill and that's why I'm working. I never thought of working and always thought if I found a good company, I'd just work there. So why don't you work for R? What? You already know our products so well. And you could do advertising or a managerial position. 
And? Sakikabara brought her face closer to mine. If we got married, you could probably get promoted higher. What are you saying? I'm being pretty serious, senpai. She left me with those words and got closer and closer. I could feel her warmth and smell her sweetness in my nose. Let's think seriously. It's not like someone who didn't like you would quit their job and then move in with you. I suppose that's true. I have so much fun when I'm with you. I've gotten a lot of confessions from men. I don't think of any of them but you. You don't look at me weirdly. As a cute girl, or as a daughter of a CEO. Well, I just think of you as you. I was pretty happy about that. No one looked at me normally. Well, I guess I wish you would look at me more as a woman. Well, Senpai, hearing a woman's confession, what are your thoughts and response? I... my response? Men should make swift decisions. It's okay. Even if you turn me down, I will abide by your response. If being together is bad, I'll leave. If you like being together, I'll be the same as usual. Isn't that mostly bad for you? What can I do? Love or crushes are always a handicap. I'm just asking you to marry me. This is just my desire, so it would make sense if you would want to cut things off. Sakigabara looked at me straight in the eyes. I could really sense her earnestness from her eyes. Ugh. Fine, I get it. I give in. So you were saying... I accept your offer. The only thing is, is that we're going to date instead of suddenly getting married. And it has to be after we finish up work here. Of course! Though I can support you until marriage, too. She's strong-willed. I guess it was weird of us to live together and sleep in the same bed and not be dating. Are you just now realizing? Uh, but is it really okay to date me? Why are you asking this? I just... I didn't think you'd go out with me. I just felt like you didn't really see me as a woman no matter how hard I worked to make living together seem appealing. I feel bad. It's not because I didn't like you that I didn't want to go out with you. And of course, it had no relation to you being the daughter of a CEO. It's true that I have fun when we're together and would be lonely if we were apart. And nowadays, I feel as if I can't imagine life without Sakakibara. So, is it okay if we kiss? I suppose it's okay. Even if it's a deep one? These hurdles are pretty high. Well, I'm looking forward to this, Shuji. A huge smile came across her face as she said that. To go from quitting my job, to being pressured by my subordinate, to living together, to dating. I could not have imagined all this would happen just from quitting. Yeah, me too. I'm starting to feel really happy. Wanna eat something? I'm hungry. I'll try my best to make something. Since then, two years passed. Good job, Mr. Endo. Yeah, good job. Oh, also, Miss Sakikabara said she'd meet you in the lobby. I quit freelancing and started working for R's public relations section. It was pretty different from my previous job, so I initially struggled. But after two years, I'm finally starting to get used to it. Ah, thank you! I left the office and headed to the first floor. Good job, Shuji! When I entered the lobby, she came and hugged me. I really wish she wouldn't do that here. Though there are times when I'm really happy about it. So I don't really tell her. Let's go home, Chinatsu. Let's.